Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to another episode of our GSCM STEM series. I'm really excited that you guys are here because today we've done an interview with a local entomologist, Dr. Paula Shrewsbury, who works at the University of Maryland. Now Dr. Shrewsbury, as I said before, is an entomologist, which basically just means that she studies bugs and insects. Let's take a look at what she has to say. Entomology, if you read the definition, it's the study of insects, and, and that's truly what it is. It's the study of insects. But within entomology, there are so many different things that you can do because insects are great organisms for studying biology, for studying ecology, for studying molecular aspects, for studying human disease. Um, so you can go from, from being very applied, figuring out how to manage pests, to um, studying genes and what the genes do. So there's a whole wide range of things that entomology allows you to do. So it's not just it's not just insects, it's what you can do with those insects and learn about a lot of different aspects of, of life and the environment and, and humans and diseases and everything. So it's, it's a really interesting topic overall. Well, as an entomologist, I am a professor at a university, the University of Maryland, and part of what I do, well, what I do is a little bit of everything. So here I teach, I do research, I do extension, which is working with practitioners who have to deal with plants and insects in the field. Um, and the area of entomology that I work in is related to pest management. So part of what I do is I look at the ecology of the insects and the biology of the insects and I try to figure out the best way to manage those insects. So to try to reduce um, detrimental impacts of pesticides and the use of pesticides and use the biology and the ecology of the insects. So try to get the good bugs to control the bad bugs. And that's a big part of what I do okay. in my research. Some people ask me if I have a typical day um, at work, and, and really one of the best things about this job is that I don't have a typical day. There are so many different aspects to this job. You never get bored, um, and you're, you're running around doing lots of different things, but that's exciting. So um, on any given day, um, I might be teaching classes to undergrads or graduate students. I might be going out into what we call the field, which are nurseries and landscapes to do research where I actually work with the bugs and, and the plants and we try to figure out better ways to manage those insects that are attacking the plants. Um, I will go out and I will give talks to practitioners like landscapers or nursery growers to teach them what we've learned through our research so that they can better manage their bugs. Um, I have to write grants to try to get money to do the research. Then I write papers um, to try to extend the knowledge that we've learned from our research to other professionals, but then also to practitioners. So I write like fact sheets and educational bulletins and work on websites, all trying to get the information that we learn here at the university out to the people who are gonna use it and hopefully help the environment in awesome. the long run, so. Great. A lot of times when I tell people I'm an entomologist, they say, how did you become an entomologist? You know, were you a bug geek when you were a kid or whatever? <laughs> and, and I wasn't a bug geek when I was a kid. I mean, I played with bugs a little bit, but most kids do that. Um, but after high school, I started college and I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I had no idea. So I kind of was thinking, well, I want to do something to help with world problems and, you know, there's always food problems and shortages and agricultural issues. So I took a plant science class and that kind of got me excited about that. And then I started learning, taking more plant classes and to do that, you have to take insect classes and disease classes of plants and and the whole pest management plant protection thing got me really excited and that's how I knew but the thing that really turned me was I took this one special class with a professor up at the University of Rhode Island where I did my undergraduate degree and it was a, a hands-on thing so one time I went to a nursery with him um, a greenhouse actually and we went in and the owner of the greenhouse said you know Dave I'm having this problem with my plants you know can you take a look at it and this professor looked at the plant and he said oh well you have botrytis and you need to do A B C and D and that's going to take care of it and I was like oh my 
I said, I want to be able to do that, to be able to look at something and know what it is or figure out what it is and help somebody, you know, take care of the problem and, and just make his life better or her life better. And, and yeah, so just the helping the people, I think, and, and the excitement over figuring out what the problems were and, and how to get rid of them. So awesome. Then from there, it was pest management and entomology the whole way. All the way so, through. Yeah. Great. Okay. When I think about my job and I think about the best part, that's really hard because it has so many parts um, and so many different things that I do, which is part of the best part that I do get to do so many things. But I really enjoy going out and working with the plants and the bugs, just looking at them and watching them and learning new things about them. I really enjoy teaching people about bugs. So I teach students and I also teach um, the practitioners, so the landscapers and the growers and, and other people, gardeners who want to learn about bugs. I really enjoy doing that. So I think those are, are probably the two better aspects. And then in, in with all that is helping the environment. So coming up with more sustainable measures and less detrimental measures for the environment is really important too. So. I think one of the most surprising parts is when you interact with people and you tell them you're an entomologist, what I find is almost everybody has an entomology or an insect story to share. <laughs> and sometimes the insect story is a good one, a good experience they've had, and sometimes it's a bad experience. But they always want to share it with you. And they always <laughs> want to tell you about it and they usually always have questions. And, and I just think that's really cool because it's an indication of how much insects impact people. Right. in both good ways and, and bad ways sometimes but I, yeah I just it's amazing sometimes if I had to give some piece of advice about stem to to girls kind of trying to figure out what they're going to do and, and, and studying and, and, and that type of stuff I think it would be to first follow your passion so whatever it is, just follow your passion and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it for whatever reason. If you work hard at something and you study hard, you should be able to do it. Okay? So don't convince yourself you can't do it and don't let anybody else convince you you can't do it. Okay? Um, and then I think the other thing is to study broad and study hard and learn as much of the basic stuff as you can. So your basic sciences and your basic maths because that you never know where life is going to take you and what career path. So I think the more you get the broader um, solid education at the high school and, and undergraduate level, the more you can options that you have in the future and the, the easier it makes it for you. Um, and then can I have a third piece of advice? Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Um, I think the other piece is to try different things. There's always internships available and different classes to take. Try different things because I never even knew about entomology or that you could have a job being paid to, to play with bugs, you know? I mean, that's pretty cool. And there are lots of jobs out there. A lot of people think doctor, dentist, veterinarian, and that's the options. There are so, so many more options. And I think just explore as many as you can and something's gonna click and then just follow that passion. There he goes. There they go. Oh my gosh.